hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how you can use the version 2 of the ship engine add-on right now it has gotten a new features that can make it easier than before okay so right now i'm going to show you how you can use this new feature okay so for those who don't know the shape king chain add-on is an add-on that allow you to generate all the 52 blend shape kings before this add-on can be work you have to make sure your character has been rigged with auto rig or metal rig okay so as you can see this character here it has been rigged perfectly with auto rig you can see we can move the face open the mouth and everything so make sure your character has been rigged like this okay so it doesn't matter whether you use auto rig or metal rig i'll show you how you can use that for all of those rigs okay, so now so let's go and install the add-on so first let me go to the folder here when you download the add-on i'll give the link in the description shape engine version 2 extract first so extract the zip file and now let's open the folder now you can see we have two we have three files here the python file and as if uh, this one is a readme you can open and read it so yeah i'm going to copy the address as test and i'll go to my blender scene go to edit preference and install so what you have to do is just paste the where right, is the address to here and it will open to where you have your files okay so the first thing you have to do is double click on chip engine zip file and go to install again and double click on admission to python file okay now it all comes like this here so when you enable it you can see we have this appear on our animation tab here you can see so let me close it right now the new features are the register face object and next shape keys for for the old one you have to join the eyes the eyebrows or the other part to the face before you can add the shape key to it but right now you don't have to join them after that separate and no all you have to do is register all your objects you want to add the shape key to them on here when you save the shape key to them to add to all of the objects has been registered in this collection register face object okay so i'm going to show you how you can do that so the first thing you have to do is to select your character rig so when i select the character rig you can see the rig name is called rig when you select the character rig just click on rename when you click on rename your character rig is going to be changed to all the shape keys and the target rig is going to choose that one as your target rig okay so click on rename okay and you can see your rig name has been changed to all the shape keys and the target rig has automatically picked that one as your target rig this character was rigged with auto rig pro so that's why the source rig is auto rig pro if you use metal rig to rig your character make sure you choose metal rig okay that is only option you have to choose metal rig or auto rig so this one was rigged with auto rig so i have choose auto rig pro okay so the next thing you have to do is we are going to register all the face object so yeah let me hide rig okay and i'm going to select the face which is the it holds all the body so it doesn't matter just select it and click on add and you can see it will add that one to the register face object so i'm going to hide it and i'm going to register the left eye the right eye okay and i'm going to this one you have to register it too if you like so i'm going to register it okay and this one i'll register so all the faces object you have to register them and this upper teeth so i'm going to register lower teeth and the tongue okay it doesn't matter if you want to register the hair but this one won't register that one it's okay so i'm going to unhide everything to bring them back okay let me hide the hair out okay so the next thing i'm going to do is um i'm going to click on transfer animation so when i click on transfer animation and hit ok you can see we have keyframes has been dropped on our timeline here okay so each keyframe represents a shape key so let me hit play and let you see what will happen you can see the character is performing all the 52 blend shape here okay let me extend my timeline so yeah when i simplify my scene it will run smooth okay okay so you see when i simplify my scene everything is running fast so the next thing i have to do is we are going to save this as a shape key so how can we do that it's going to be simple right now we have next shape key tab uh, panel here that's also going to help us to do all the jumping when you jump it is going to be jumped to where you have to save your next shape key rather than moving on through your timeline okay so the next thing you have to do is um go to the frame you think it's better for your first shape key you can see 
frame 10 is better for left eye blink okay so if you prefer this you can save this as your left eye blink though it doesn't blink well after this we can use the scope tool to make the blink close well so what you have to do is if you are standing on frame 10 and we think that one is better sometimes it can be frame 9 or be better or 8 it doesn't matter so this one i think frame 10 is good for me so i'll stand on frame 10 and hit on save on sh save as shape king and you can see we have a list of names shape king's name here and it has been list according to how our our keys has been has been dropped here the first one is i blink left you can see this is the left eye and it says blink so choose that one and hit ok so right now when you come to your data here and shape keys you can see the left eye blink has been added to our shape key so the next thing you have to do is just click on jump forward and it will jump to you where you have to save your next shape key it's a jump to frame 20 and just click on save us and this is i look down dot l so you can see i look down dot l click on jump again and this i look left dot l so this i look in left okay save jump and this i look in right okay, so save us jump again so all I have to do is just click on every time you hit jump you need to go and save a shaking and choose the next name to it this i squint left save us jump again and this i wide okay left save so that's all what you have to do you can see this i jump to i blink right save us so i'm going to do this till i finish naming all the shape keys so make sure every time you hit jump you go and save a shape key now i have done giving the shape key to all of the objects so okay let me show you something here so right now when i select the character head you can see it has all the shape keys over here and when i select the eyeball only you can see it also has all the shape keys so all of the objects we did register on the register face object here has all the shape keys for all of the all of them okay so let me show you example here when i select the head and i give eye blink you can see the eye blink only happened to the happen to the face of the, the face okay but when i select the eyeball and i give eye blink you can see nothing happened okay but if i select the eye look down dot l and i look down to the left and make this volume to one you can see the eye is looking down but if i select the body and i select the face object and i choose i look down you can see nothing is happening to here that that's how the add-on is working and now this will become very easy than before so after this your character has gotten all the 52 shape key so right now we can select the rig after you have done everything select the rig and click on clean rig and it is going to delete all the shape keys from your character and this is our new update and this is easy to use after this you can also connect this to your iphone or mocap that you can do your facial record, uh, recording and it will transfer to your card so i'm going to show you one example here we have add-on called live link okay there's an add-on live link add-on okay it's also work like the same how you have to register all your target object so here you have to register all your target object like we, we register all the faces object on here so we can add it so if we select the face click on plus icon to add that one and add the left right eye the left eye you need to register all this object the faces object okay make sure you register all of them there's the upper teeth lower teeth the tongue okay so make sure you register all of the objects like this and the next thing you have to do 
is right now i have my csv data i recorded from i extracted from a video so i can load that one so okay i'm going to load that one to let you see how it works so this is the csv data so i'm going to load it and when i click it it's going to be load and extract the video from it so here i'm going to hit play but let me simplify the scene so you can see our character is opening and doing the mouth movement so here if you have your you have your iphone you can just link it to it and you can do official uh, capture live recording up here it is using all the shape keys we added that is using that one as a volume to control the face i don't have iphone to show you that but um i do extracted this from a video okay so thank you for watching make sure you subscribe like and comment for more videos